It's the final stretch in the campaign trail for candidate Maki Sal, running for a second term in office with one rallying cry, Beno Bokoyakar, together sharing a common hope. A slogan to attract women because there are more women eligible to vote than men. Electrical technician Modo Jaff is too busy working to attend political rallies, but she says promising hope is not enough. Change is what women want. Times have changed. We are a workforce like any other, and I expect our new president to give us the same rights as men. Women are not just paid less than men, they're also taxed more. Inheritance and family laws favor men over women. And although a law was introduced in 2010 to allow women to have a bigger role in politics, there are big gaps between the sexes. Senegal has yet to adapt a gender discrimination law. I feel frustrated because uh, we have a parity law since 2010 and we, have, we are one of the few countries in Africa that has it and even in the world. We have a, a national assembly that is made of 43% of women, but that doesn't translate into quality participation, political participation of women. For the first time since 1993, there are no women running for the presidency, and so the male candidates are making promises to women. Political newcomer Sonko says if he's elected, he will increase maternity leave and impose tougher penalties against sexual violence. Maki Sal says he has made health care free for mothers and their children. He wants to include more women in his cabinet and the civil service and is promising more jobs for young female graduates. Senegalese women are expected to come out and vote in mass on Sunday because among them are many first-time voters. They are a key demographic in this election and the challenge for President Macky Sall is to be both the candidate of continuity and change. Among them is Modo Jaff, still undecided who to vote for. She's unfazed by political promises or slogans, but determined to make her vote count. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar.